Silly Miss Lily, and I'm so excited to play with you today. Today, we're gonna learn all about Halloween and different decorations like skeletons and pumpkins and scarecrows and ghosts and whole bunch of different fun costumes. We'll also do some really fun activities, make some yummy snacks, and play. It's gonna be so much fun. Come on! Right now, I'm dressed as a scientist. Scientists are people who study things like space or rocks or animals, and they do lots of fun experiments with different pouring or different tests where they test things out. And we're gonna do a fun little color experiment where we're gonna mix some colors. Come on. Let's do a fun experiment with colors. I'm gonna use food dye, and it's gonna change the color of our water. First, let's add a few drops of the yellow. Let's add some water in. Whoa, look at this yellow liquid we have. Now I wonder what happens if we mix the yellow with some blue. What do you even think? I'll add one little blue drop. It will mix in yellow with blue. Ooh, and let's stir it, stir it. And it turned green. Now I wonder what happens when we mix red with the yellow. I'll do one little drop in, and then let's mix it with our yellow water and see what happens. And it turned orange. Isn't that so silly? When we mix colors together, they turn different colors. So when we mix in the yellow with the blue, it turned green. And when we mix the yellow with the red, it turned orange. How silly. A little drop of blue and, 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 a, and then a drop of yellow. Two drops, one a blue and one a red yellow. What do you think that? I'm excited to see. What kind of capacity it will make? Half. <gasps> what color did it turn to? A green. How about that? I'm gonna add a little more, more paint. I like it. Squeeze a little drop, I still see it. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah, and it's mixing. I, I'm gonna mix it up. Hold okay. on. The straw's right over here, I kind of moved it. Hold on. And a little yellow and a little blue. And then I'm gonna do the next top. Okay. There you go. Nice. It went over its capacity. It was at full capacity and then it overflowed. Here's this dump bucket you can dump it into. Nice. It's floating. I have another fun experiment that we can do and you can do this fun activity at home if you ask your grown up for help. You'll need a pumpkin and we're gonna carve it. So let's do that first, come on. Around Halloween, you're gonna see lots of pumpkins and some that are carved into a jack-o'-lantern that looks like this, where their eyes and a silly smile. So let's carve our pumpkin together because we're gonna use it for a really fun science experiment. Let's see, let's draw two triangles for the eyes. One, two, maybe a silly nose and a little toothy grin. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What a silly little face. The next part, make sure you ask your grown up for help because you'll need something sharp to cut it all out and then scoop the insides of the pumpkins out. And then later you can use it as your jack o' lantern and put it outside with a little candle to glow. But first, let's carve it out. Now we'll scoop it all out and you can use a big spoon or an ice cream scooper and just, here's the inside of a pumpkin. Let's scoop it out. Look at all of this gooeyness.
Now that we have our pumpkin all cut out, look at this pumpkin. Hello, I'm a cute little pumpkin. I'm a little pumpkin, short and stout. Here are my eyes and here is my mouth. When it's Halloween and you are out, just lift my lid and hear me shout. Boo! How silly. Now that we have our jack-o'-lantern all carved, let's do a really fun experiment together. Come on. Here's a really fun experiment you can do at home if you ask your grown-up for help. It's called elephant toothpaste. You know how elephants are really, really big? I bet they use really big toothpaste. So that's what we're gonna make inside of our jack-o'-lantern. And some things we're gonna need are hydrogen peroxide, some dish soap, food coloring if you want to make it look fun, some dry yeast, and hot water. All right, first, we're gonna add some hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna measure out a cup of it. And pour that in. Next, I'm gonna add some dish soap and some food coloring to make it really fun. Then I'm gonna add a little packet of yeast and I'm gonna dissolve it in some warm water. Let's mix it all up, mix it all up. All right, we'll make sure this is all kind of mixed around, mixed around too. Now let's add it to our pumpkin. Ready? Let's pour it in. What? Look at that. It's just growing, growing, growing. Go little toothpaste. Ooh. And inside it made this really cool blue foam. How fun. Here we go, here we go. Look, peroxide. Yeah, right, peroxide. What's going on, peroxide? I'm gonna squeeze. Okay. And kind of tip it all the way over and then squeeze, squeeze, squeeze all around. Oh, that's good. That's good work. Pick a color, any color. You can do blue, red, yellow. I'm gonna do blue. Okay. Mm hmm, mm hmm. All right, I'm gonna mix it and mix it in. Mm -hmm. And then a little bit yellow. Okay. Get ready, because it's gonna get silly. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let me give this a stir. I didn't do. Yeah! Pop out. Yeah! Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna pour it in. Pour it. It's coming. It's coming out! <laughs> what? It might come out of its nose. Pumpkin, jack-o'-lantern, what's happening? And these paints are hiding. Oh, and look, you made the different colors. Look, the blue, the yellow showed up. Drop some on here. I want to see if it changes the foam. I think that's going to be really cool. And then look, look grab a straw and then mix it all around like this. <gasps> what? Go ahead, you can mix it. I'm going to add a little yellow. Okay, okay, okay. Can add it over here so we can see it. Yeah. I'm gonna mix the foam Go ahead. and see if it turns together. You want me to add a few more drops? Yeah. I want to see what the blue does. Ready to mix it? Yeah. Okay, Pepe, go ahead. <gasps> mix all this blue. Ooh! Hey, when it's mixing with the yellow, it turns green. Is that nifty? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm, doing it. I'm gonna add a little pink okay. inside the pumpkin. Okay. Do you wanna mix it in here and see what color that changes? Yeah. Go ahead and grab your straw. Ooh. Ooh, you might need more foam. Around Halloween time, you'll see lots of decorations and some of them could be little monsters like this. They're just silly, silly looking. Let's do a fun little rhyme about monsters. Five little monsters sitting on the floor. The red one said, let's knock on someone's door. The green one said, let's act a little scary. The yellow one said, 
Why are you so hairy? The blue one said, I hear a funny sound. The pink one said, there's no one else around. Then whoosh went the wind and eek, someone said, and the five little monsters ran under the bed. Silly monsters. <laughs> Other costumes you might see around Halloween time are food costumes. And I have this donut box costume that we're gonna put on and then make a really yummy, spooky Halloween donut snack together. Let's do it. Shrink. Now a box of donuts. <laughs> How silly. Now that we're in a donut costume, let's make a fun little snack using donut holes. These are donut holes. They come from the donut. Bloop. When they make a donut, the little part that comes out, that's the donut hole. And it looks like a little circle. We're gonna use it to make little fun spiders. So we'll use the donut hole, and then we'll use these pretzel sticks as the legs. And spiders have eight legs. So let's see. We'll need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight legs. And you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna put them in the donut like this. Ooh, spooky spider. And then look, we're gonna put one, two, three, and four on this side. So each side has four or eight all together. Crawl, 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 crawl on a plate. I'm a little spider. Do you wanna make one? Yeah. I'll break some more. And this is a fun little snack you can make at home. And just put some spider legs in a little donut. Oh, here comes Dogla Ding Dong. She's all about this. Three, four, five, six. Look at all those legs you have in your spider. You put them back in. Okay. Did you know that? All spiders make that silk, but not all spiders make their little web. Some spiders just jump, jump and catch some bugs. And the pretzel sticks are a little salty, but the donut is sweet, so it's a little sweet and salty. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again Around fall time and Halloween you'll also see lots of scarecrows. Scarecrows are usually placed in a garden where they wave their arms around to keep the birds away so the birds don't eat all the seeds. This is my little scarecrow. I'm a little scarecrow, raggedy and worn. I wear a hat and my shirt is torn. When the crows fly here, I wave and shout. Away from my garden now, get out. Shoo, shoo, birds, don't eat the crops. I have this really cute picture, but I don't know exactly what it is. I have to connect the dots to draw out the outline of this picture. You wanna do it together? Let's start at the letter A. And A, what's after letter A? Letter B, I see letter B, let's connect them. A, B, what's after B? Oh, I see a letter C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L. Ooh, I see M right here. L, M, to N, O, P. Here's Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. We connected all of the letters and look, we made a scarecrow. How cute. We made a cute little scarecrow. Scarecrow says, I'm a little scarecrow, raggedy and worn. I wear a hat 
and my shirt is torn. Something you can do is make your own scarecrow costume at home. All you need is a hat, a raggedy or an old worn shirt, and some overalls. You can also cut out some felt, like hay that sticks out from your hat, and then you can be a little scarecrow for Halloween. Let's make our little costume together. I have my raggedy worn shirt, my overalls, and my hat. Now we can just put some felt, cut it up, and put it inside of the hat so it looks like I have hay hair, and then I'll, I'll look like a little scarecrow. Let's do it together. To make it look like hay is sticking out of my hat, I got some felt, and I'll cut it into little hay pieces. use little stickies to attach them or to stick them to your hat. Now it looks like we have little hay here. That's gonna be so silly. Now that I have the hay, hair on my hat, I can put it on. And now I look like a little scarecrow. And you can do a costume like this at home and you can be a little scarecrow for Halloween. I'm a little scarecrow, raggedy and worn. I wear a hat and my shirt is torn. When the crows fly in, I wave and shout. Out of my garden now, get out. How silly. Some other costumes you might see around Halloween time are animal costumes. Bark, 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 bark. Did you hear some barking? Whoa, whoa, look at my chicken. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I see a farmer. I bet the farmer's gonna come chase me. I'm chasing you. Bark, 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 bark. You caught me. Here's a fun little activity you can do at home if you ask your grown-up for help. You can grab a bin and get some dried corn. And it makes really cool, fun sound. You can fill it with seasonal things like corn and pumpkins and you can put them in. Or fill it up with different containers. I have a little plant pot a little foil pie container, and a little plastic container. I also have a little scoop. Let's listen to what kind of sounds the corn makes when it goes into a different container. Ooh. That's fun. Let's see what kind of sound it makes when it hits the foil. Ooh. Clink, 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 clink. What if we put it in this little pot? That's so fun. Another activity you can do is make your own little musical instrument. And I'll use a cardboard tube, some parchment paper, and some rubber bands. First, I might be able to fold this in half. Let's close one end of the tube. Pull the rubber band around it. Now through the open end, let's fill it up with corn. Pour it in. In. Now we'll use another piece to close it up. And another rubber band to hold it in place. And now you can shake it. And you made your own shaker. Isn't that so fun? You can also use this little sensory bin for a fun hide and seek game with some toys. I have a cow, moo, and a piggy, oink, 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 oink. You can use different toys or puzzle pieces if you want. And then you can hide them, hide them in the corn. And then use your scoop or your hands to find it. First, 
Oink, oink. <gasps> Who's that? Oink, oink. I think it's a piggy. Let's try to find a piggy. <gasps> Here's our piggy. Oink, 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 oink. Moo. Who's that? Moo. I think it's a cow. Let's find it. Cow, where are you? <gasps> Here's the cow. Moo. Thank you for helping me. How fun. And we're going to first put this one on. You want to hold it for me? All right, you hold it here. And I'll put a rubber band on. Good work. Then take the scoop. Where's the scoop? Here's the scoop. And fill it up with some corn. Mommy, I think I must have to maybe use my finger. You can. You can. This is how much I'm going to do. I think that's a good amount. We'll put another piece of parchment paper on top. And I'll put another rubber band on. Tie it around twice so it's nice and... Okay, and then you can grab it and shake it. You made a shaker. Oh yeah, shake it over here and shake it over there. We shake it up here, then we shake it down there. We shake it all around, shake it, shake it, here we go. Shake, 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 shake. Five little spiders sitting on the wall. The first one said, but we won't fall. The second one said, we've got eight legs. The third one said, and we lay eggs. The fourth one said, and we're covered in hair. The fifth one said, but we don't care. Then flip when the switch and on when the light and the five little spiders scurried out of sight. How silly, silly spiders. Another fun activity you can do with your letter puzzle and the corn is play a little hide and seek with the letters. Okay, and you can hide all of the letters in. And then find them and put them back in their spot. And we can do a few together. Let's see. What letter is this? Letter B. Let's find its spot. A, B. Oh, I found letter H. Let's find its spot. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Next, let's see. What's hiding? Oh, letter A. Let's put it in. A, B. I found the letter E. Let's put it in together. A, B, C, D, E. I found letter Y. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. We did it. Let's see what letter we find next. Letter T. Do you see the letter T? Hmm. Right here. Let's put it in. I got the letter N. And I see the spot right, right here. Let's put it in. I found letter O. And O. Here we go. Now I got the letter X. Here we go, X. Here's a letter G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We did it. This is the letter R. Let's put it in. Hmm. Here it is. Q. Here's the Q. I found the letter C. A, B, C. And here's the letter D, A, B, C, D. Let's see, oh, I found letter P. And O, P. Oh, look, I discovered a letter F, and it goes right here. We have the whole top row, A, B, C, D, E, F. 
G H. And here's an I. Let's see, do you know this letter? This is the letter S. And it goes right here. Oh, I found the letter K. Let's put it in. Okay, and our E fell, E, come back. All right, let's see what else we find. I found letter V. U. Hmm. This is the letter J. Let's put it in. We have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Ooh, we need L and M. I just found M. Let's put it in. And I see the letter W. Here it is. Let's see what we're missing. Looks like we're missing L and Z. Here's L. And here is Z. We did it, we found all of the letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. We got all of our ABCs together. Thank you for helping me. Here's another fun activity you can do and all you need is a piece of paper and a puzzle with letters. And we're gonna draw a pumpkin on this and you can do your name or fun fall words or any fun words that you like. And then we're gonna spell it out using the letters that we have. Let's do it together. Let's draw a pumpkin. Kind of oval shape like this. We'll give it a big stem. And then you can write your name. I'll write Paisley's name. So we'll do P A I S L E and Y. And then you can use the puzzle pieces to find the letters. So first letter is P. Let's find the letter P. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Here it is, peep. Next letter is A. Here's letter A. Next letter is I. Then S. L. E. And Y. We spelled Paisley. Okay, so first, what's the letter? P. Let's find it. Let's put it on. Okay, next letter. A. Okay, let's find it. Here it is. Okay, what's the next letter? I. Okay, let's find it. And what's this next letter? S. Okay, let's see it. Oh, nice. And then what's this next letter? Let's find it. Yeah. Okay, what's this next letter? E. Ooh. And then last letter, what's this one? Y. All right. Y. Here's Y. Here's Y. <gasps> Paisley. That's your name on a oh. pumpkin. If you have a name with letters that repeat, you can do this activity a different way. Let's put the letters back. And I'll show you what you can do. You can divide the pumpkin into the pieces and then cut them out making a puzzle. And then we'll put the puzzle back together. Let's cut it. this puzzle, mix it all up, mix it all up, mix it all up, and then let's put it back together to spell out the name. So first letter was P, 
then A, let's find letter I. Hmm. This looks sim I think we might, be here we go. Let's see, maybe S. Why? And we spelled Paisley in our pumpkin. Thanks for helping me. We got the letter P. P. A. Oh, we need letter A next. Do you have a letter A anywhere? Here. Let's put it next to it. Okay, next letter we need letter I. Uh, here's I. I get Y tangled up with I. Yeah, I tangled up with Y. Okay. P A I. Next letter is S. Do you have letter S anywhere? Yes. yes. Next letter is going to be L. Here's L. Perfect. And then let's see. What's the next letter we have here? L. E. E. Let's put it together. And then another letter. We just have this last letter. Why? You put your pumpkin together. That's your name. You spelled it out again. P. A-I-S-L-E-Y. Good work. Now we're gonna make a really fun jack-o'-lantern snack. We're gonna use tortillas and carve out little pumpkin jack-o'-lantern faces. Then we'll spread the cheese. Mommy, I'm gonna do angry on this one. Ooh, you wanna do different emotions? Okay. Yeah. Let's do an angry pumpkin. I'll put these towards you for now and then I'll borrow this because I'm gonna use a sharp knife. Okay, angry pumpkin. Let's do the eyes. And then maybe eyebrows, kind of mm. going, grrr, I'm an angry pumpkin like that. Yeah, but and we need a mouth. Right. Oh, kind of, look at these eyebrows. Those are good. Yeah, okay. And then we just need a little mouth for him. Mommy, we have a cheese, and then I'm gonna sprinkle it through the, the mouth. Is. How about this one? Is this a little angry? Yeah. Arr, okay, so here's the cheese. You can sprinkle it on, onto these ones that aren't cut out. Yeah. They are gonna be really cheesy. So cheesy. I'll help you shred it all around. And then I'll put this one on top. Huh. Okay, I'll fill these ones up. It's gonna be so cheesy. Grab it out a little more. And they're gonna make silly little jack lantern pumpkin cheese case idea. And we'll put these in the toaster oven for just a few minutes. Mommy, Mommy I got, there's a little, you see this cheese in the yeah. pour. Okay, that sounds good. One, two, three, we did it. And now we just gotta toast them up. Hot. Ooh, but they look good. Oh, here's a spooky one. Happy Halloween. I Happy like Happy Halloween. Here's our jack-o'-lantern quesadillas and they're just smiling, smiling. And you can have these as a snack. You can cut them in little pieces. You can dip them or eat them by themselves. You can dip them in ketchup or a little salsa. We have a little sweet salsa. Should we cut this one in pieces and try it? No, wait a I'm gonna do this piece. Okay, go ahead. Wow. Ooh, okay. How's that? That was quarters. Yeah, now we have quarters. How many you got? Four. That's right. Four quarters. And now you can just eat it by itself or you can dip it in salsa. And Thanks for making snacks with us. Thanks for making snacks. Another fun costume you can dress up for Halloween is a doctor. Doctors help people. You can go in to see a doctor for a checkup, or if you get hurt, you can go in and they will help you. Sometimes they'll have a stethoscope. They put it in their ears and they can hear your heartbeat. Boom, 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 boom. And doctors study our body so they know how they work and they also study the skeletal system. The skeletal system are the bones that we have inside. So there's the head bone, boop, 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 shoulder bones, 
arm bones, back bones, leg bones, hand bones, and even foot bones. And doctors study all of them so they know what's going on inside our bodies. Let's see, we'll learn all of our bones together and put together a really cute skeleton. Come on! I've got these really silly skeleton bones that we can put together into a full skeleton to see our skeletal system. You wanna help me? Let's do it together. All right, first, we've got the head bone. That's inside of our head, and it's called our cranium. And this bone protects our brain, kind of like a helmet for your brain, and it protects it inside. So here's our head bone, our cranium. We'll put it right here, and the bottom of our jaw bone, that's called our mandible, that allows us to take bites. Hum, hum, hum. The mandible or the jaw bone. And then that's connected to the neck bone. And this is the neck right here. Next, we get into the body bones. We have some shoulder bones right over here. And this kind of triangular one is called a scapula, often called your shoulder blade. And they're on both sides. Then the arm bones is called a humerus. These are humerus bones. And then they're connected at the elbow. This part of our arm is divided into two bones. The one that's on the pinky side of your arm is called ulna. This is our ulna bone. And on the thumb side, the kind of bigger, tougher bone, that's called radius. And we have two of them on each side. And then that's connected to our wrist. That helps us flop our arms around, our hands, bloop, bloop, bloop. The kind of wrist bones are called carpals, and then they're connected to metacarpal bones. And then our finger bones are called phalanges. Isn't that so silly? Phalanges. We also have a backbone. That's our spine. If you feel on your back little kind of pokey parts, little bones, those are little vertebrae, little bones down our spine that help us bend and stand up straight. We also have ribs, like a little rib cage, and these bones protect our heart and lungs to make sure we stay nice and healthy. Then our back bone is connected to the hip bone or our pelvis bone. And that's where we shake our hips. Shake, shake, shake. Next, our hip bone is connected to our thigh bone or it's called the femur. And it's a really, really, really strong bone. The femur bone helps us run and jump. And if we do it correctly, we can pick up really heavy things with the strength of our femur bone. Our femur bone is connected to our knee bone, or it's also called patella. Patella bone, or the kneecap, and it protects our knee joints to make sure we can bend our knees and do fun dances. Next, we have the leg bones, and this one's divided into two bones as well, kind of like our arm one. The thicker bone on the outside is called tibia, and the thinner one is called fibula, and they help our legs move, move, move. Then we have our ankle bone that connects our leg to the ankle to the foot, and that's our foot bone. And the foot bone's called tarsals, down to metatarsals, and that's the bones we have in our skeletal, skeletal system. So when you see skeletons around Halloween time, they just show the bones in our body and how our body works. Let's put this skeleton together and see if we can make him dance. Come on! Now we've got our skeleton all together. He's waving, hello, hello, silly skeleton. We like all of your bones. Let's go over all the bones again. Look at this silly skeleton that we built together with all the silly bones. This is his little foot bone. This is my foot and inside I have my foot bone. Can you show me your foot? We have a foot bone in there. And then in our leg, we have a leg bone, our hip bones, arm bones, and our head bone. They all stack up together to make our skeletal system. The foot bone's connected to the leg bone. The leg bone's connected to the thigh bone. The thigh bone's connected to the hip bone. Doing the skeleton dance. The hip bone's connected to the 
backbone. The backbone's connected to the neck bone. The neck bone's connected to the head bone. Doing the skeleton dance. The finger bone's connected to the hand bone. The hand bone's connected to the arm bone. The arm bone's connected to the shoulder bone. Doing the skeleton dance. Boop, boop, boop. How silly! Well, give me a high five. Yay! Do you know where my foot bone is? This one. That's it. What about my leg bones? Ooh, that's right. Where are your leg bones? Yeah! Do you have any knee bones? Yeah, I got some too. We can wiggle them like this. <gasps> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle bones. Doing the skeleton wiggle. Here's a fun ghost craft that you could do at home if you ask a grown up for help. What do we need to make it? A pool noodle. Let's do a pool noodle. And a tomatoes. And a witchy in the mouth out. And it's, let's do it. We'll put this pool noodle on. Yeah. And then if you have a white sheet, you can just throw it over to make the ghost. And then if you have some black felt, you can cut out two eyes. Wait, I actually have them already cut out on this side. Ready? Yeah. It's going to be a surprise. Ghost. Boo. Boo. Does it look like ghost over here? Yeah. And pull it over this way. Boo. And you know what's kind of silly and tricky? Mm -hmm. Ghosts say boo. And we spell it out with B-O-O. -O. Boo. When we see two O's together like this, it makes the oo sound like boo. And if we add a T at the end, it'll spell out boot. Is that silly? What about the sound moo? That starts with the letter M. Two O's for moo. Moo. If we add an N at the end of that, it'll spell out moon. That's so silly. What other words do we know with ooh sound like that? Mouse. Let's think. Pool. Pool. Hey, pool. Noodle. Those both have the O's. Cool. School. Mommy, wait. What else letter can we put at the end, and then, and then we'll see it. Um, let's think. Okay, well, if we take the word cool, that's C-O-O-L, cool. But if we change the C to a P, then it'll spell pool. Is that nifty? Pool? Pool, yeah, with a P-O-O-L. When the two O's are together like that. They're like giving each other a hug going, ooh, pool, cool. You want to do the part where it's, wow, this was so much fun. You do the wow part, and I'm going to do the hi, bye. Okay, okay. Wow, this was so much <laughs> fun. Thank you so much for learning and playing with us and doing fun, different experiments and learning all about Halloween. I'm really proud of you. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you're looking for more of our videos, make sure to subscribe and search for Paisley's Corner with Silly Miss Lily, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Hmm, you could dress up as a bunny. And bunnies hop like this. Hop, hop, hop. Will you hop with me? Hop, 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 hop. Hop, little bunny. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunny. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunny. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. And stop. Wow, should we do it again? Let's do it again. Hop, little bunny. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunny. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunny. Hop, hop, hop. Hop. So we being a bunny. Another Halloween costume you could do is to be a monkey. Oh wow! Now I'm a monkey. Monkeys go ooh ooh ah ah ooh ooh ah ah and they scratch ooh ooh ah ah ooh ooh ah ah. Will you act like a monkey with me? Reminds me of a song. Five little monkeys. Will you sing with me? All right. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Now we've got four monkeys left. Ready? Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Now we've got three monkeys left. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Now we've got two monkeys left. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Now we've got one little monkey. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Another fun costume for Halloween is to be a superhero with a cape flying around. Will you fly with me? Flying around and saving the city. All right, that's really fun. Costume. I've got my fin and I would swim like this. Swimming, swimming, swimming. And swim fast! And swim slow. Do you want to swim with me? Get your swimming arms out and let's swim fast. Swim, swim so fast! And now let's swim slow. Slowly swimming. Wow, that's really fun. And it reminds me of a song called Baby Shark. Will you sing it with me? All right. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby Shark. Let's do Mama. Mama Shark, do, 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 do. Mama Shark, do, 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 do. Mama Shark, do, 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 do. Mama Shark. Now Papa Shark, Papa Shark, do 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 do. Papa Shark, do 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 do. Papa Shark, do 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 do. Papa Shark. 
Grandma Shark, do 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 do. Grandma Shark, do 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 do. Grandma Shark, do 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 do. Grandma Shark. Grandpa Shark, do 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 do. Grandpa Shark, do 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 do. Grandpa Shark, do 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 do. Grandpa Shark. Now let's do the little fish. Little fish, do do. Do 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 do, little fish do do, do 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 do, little fish do do, do 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 do, little fish. Swim away, do 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 do, swim away, do 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 do, swim away, do 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 do, swim away. Swim faster, do 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 do, swim faster, do 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 do, swim faster, do 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 do, swim faster. Save at last, do do. Do 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 do, save at last. Do 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 do, save at last. Do 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 do, save at last. That's the end. Do 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 do. That's the end. Do 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 do. That's the end. Do 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 do. That's the end. Do you know what you're gonna be for Halloween? Wow, it's fun to dress up in different costumes. I think I will be, hmm, oh, a princess. Wow, now I'm a princess in a big gown. And maybe I'll go to the big ball and dance. Will you dance with me? Dancing, let's dance. Oh, that reminds me of freeze dance. Will you do the freeze dance with me? Okay, when the music plays, we'll dance, dance, dance. But when the music stops, we'll freeze. Ready? Let's dance. And freeze! Did you freeze? Great job. All right, let's do it again. Ready, let's dance. And I love dancing with you. Some fun activities you can do around Halloween time is go to a pumpkin patch. That's where they have lots and lots of pumpkins and you go looking, looking for a pumpkin. And when you find the one that you like, you can pick it out and then take it home. Let's count how many pumpkins we see. Ready? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Five pumpkins. Wow, thanks for counting with me. Once you've got your pumpkin, a fun activity you could do is paint it. I thought we could paint a pumpkin together. I've got some fun paint. I'll put it on our little plate. I've got white paint. Let's see, some yellow paint. I'm gonna squeeze it out, squeeze. And some black paint. All right, let's see. Maybe we can paint some polka dots. Got a paintbrush. Let's do some yellow. Let's do one right here. And another one right here. Let's see. Maybe another one right here. You can also do this at home with your grown-ups. And if you don't want to use a paintbrush, you can use your fingers. Tap, tap, tap. And tap them on. Boop. 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 Let's add some black polka dots. Boop, 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 boop. This is called finger painting when you're painting with your finger. 
and you can paint cute little pumpkins to put outside on your porch or in your backyard or take pictures with them. And you can write your year, the year you're doing it or how old you are and make cute little memory keepsakes and take pictures with them. Look how cute our pumpkin is looking. If you're a little bit older, you can carve a pumpkin. That's when you cut, 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 and you can cut faces. But if you're still little, you can paint on it like this little pumpkin. Or I've also got a big pumpkin for us. Do you want to see it? All right, let me get it. This is a big pumpkin. This one's a little small pumpkin and big pumpkin. Small pumpkin and big pumpkin. Now for the big pumpkins, like I said, you can carve them out with a knife or you can just draw on it and we'll use our black paint and a brush or you can use your finger and we can draw a face on it, ready? We'll do a big eye, one eye, two eyes. Now the pumpkin has two eyes. One, two. And we draw a silly mouth. We'll start with a happy face. Mouth. Oh, it's a little crooked, a little crooked mouth. See, we'll even it out. Let me see if I can make it a little bigger because we've got a big pumpkin. We'll give him a big smile. Wow! Let's give him a nose too, huh? Boop. Little nose. Ah, look at our pumpkin, it's smiling. Paint some more. Paint, paint, paint. And you can paint your own pumpkin however you'd like. And then you can decorate it. And you can do it with paintbrushes or your fingers. And add some polka dots. Boop, 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 boop. Aww, it's starting to look really cute. What a cute little pumpkin. Pop, 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 pop. All right, it's fun to paint and it's really fun to paint pumpkins. Thanks for painting with me. Some fun decorations you might see around during Halloween are witches. Witches have pointy little hats and sometimes you will see them with a broom. They fly around on it. That's pretty silly. You might also see some black cats. Hmm, how many black cats do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five black cats. Thanks for counting with me. Other decorations you might see are spiders. But they're not real spiders. They're just pretend they're toy spiders. You might see some spider webs all around too. That makes me think of a song. Do you know which song? Yeah, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Let's do it together. Get your fingers out and we'll do our little spider going up the spout. Let's do the Itsy Bitsy Spider. You're gonna take your hands and do L's, the letter L with them, and then flip one, and then we're gonna twist them up. That's gonna be your spider walking up the water spout. Ready? The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain 
And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Should we do it again? Let's do it again. But this time, let's do it with a teeny weeny spider. Teeny weeny tiny little spider. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Wow, let's do that again. But this time, let's do a big spider. Big, big spider. The big, big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the big, big spider went up the spout again. What a silly big spider. You did a great job. Another fun activity you might find around Halloween is a corn maze. That's where you go. Sometimes they have them by the pumpkin patches. And there's lots of corn and you gotta find your way out. You gotta walk, 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 and then think, hmm, this way or this way? Maybe this way. Wait, no, this way. Wait, this way, this way. Probably this way. No, this way. Wait, no other way. Wait, duh, this way. This way? Mm, maybe this way. No, other way. Wait, no, other way. This way? I think this, no, other way. And you find your way through the corn maze. It's really fun. During Halloween, you'll probably see a lot of different costumes. It's fun to dress up. Let's look at some different costumes together. You might see some kids dress up as a pumpkin. Maybe you'll see some kids dressed up as athletes like a baseball player or a football player. You might see some that look like a construction worker or a doctor. Maybe some kids will dress up as a mermaid or a witch. Other kids like to dress up as animals, like the monkey or a dog or a kitty or a shark. Maybe you'll see some dinosaur costumes. Maybe you'll see some cowboys and cowgirls or some kids dressed up as superheroes. Halloween is really fun. It's fun to dress up and it's fun to go trick or treating. Once we put our costume on, you can go outside to around your neighborhood with your grown up. And we go walking, 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 walking. When you come to a house, we go like this. Knock, 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 knock. And they'll open the door. And you can say trick or treat. Trick or treat. That's when they open the door and they might have a bowl of candy. They'll ask you to take maybe one, maybe two. And you get to pick the candy and say, thank you. Thank you. Then you put it in your bag and then walk and walk and off to the next house to say trick or treat. Now, if you're at your house and you have the trick or treaters come to your house, you might get a knock on your door. Knock, knock, knock. It's when you open it and you'll see kids in costumes and they'll say trick or treat. And you can offer them a bowl of candy and they'll take it and put it in their bag. Halloween is really fun to celebrate. It can be a little overwhelming because it's so exciting with different lights, so many decorations, and everyone wearing different costumes. Do you 
have your costume picked out yet? I'd love to see it. I bet you look great in it. I hope you have the best time trick-or-treating on Halloween and dressing up. If you paint any pumpkins, I'd love to see that too, because I love to paint. I think it's really fun. playing with me. I love playing with you. I hope you have a great Halloween and you have so much fun. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you're looking for more of our videos, make sure to search for Paisley's Corner with Silly Miss Lily. And I'll see you there. Bye-bye.